Hello everybody, my name is Katia and welcome back to the video of NHL 21 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series and today we're going to be doing the playoffs for the second season. Uh, last time we, I think, uh, we went all the way to the uh, Stanley Cup uh, playoffs, right? So we went all the way to the Stanley Cup playoffs, boys, uh, Stanley Cup finals. And we lost there, so that's a shame, really. That's actually our third season, by the way, not our second season. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, we're doing fantastic. Uh, so far, we had a really good year. I think, uh, I believe we uh, we got the President's Trophy once again, so the, for the second time in a row. Uh, before jumping into the playoffs, uh, we're going to take a look at the stats for our, our players because we didn't do that last uh, video. Uh, so Hoffman finished up as our best scorer once more at uh, 41 goals, boys. So he's a 40 games, uh, 40 goal scorer uh, per season. He's really helpful for us during the season. And uh, I guess the best player is uh, Jack Hughes, the only one with more points than goals uh, this year. But uh, what a season he had! I mean, 40, uh, 20, 92 goal, uh, 92 points, boys. That's an incredible season. He uh, definitely blew off big time right there. And uh, Hoffman, 72, 70 points. Not too shabby. For a player like him, that's pretty good. It's not it's not as good as last year because he didn't have uh, as many assists as he uh, had last year. But uh, still, he, he still had the same amount of goals almost. So he's really scoring goals for us big time. Bjorkstrand, really good season. Barkov. I uh, was uh, definitely expecting more out of him, but he did play most of the majority of the season he played on the third line boys So we got to keep that in mind. I guess Ishar well He started to have a little bit of a disappointing uh, Season or career with us. I might want to depart myself uh, From him because he's not really producing like I want him to and that's obviously because he's a two-way forward You know, we don't have space for two-way forwards and Barkov is a two-way forward as well. You know, they tend to not produce too much. Uh, I knew uh, what I was going for in Barkov, but maybe I made a mistake. I don't know. Uh, Markstrom with 50 wins, boys. 50 wins for Markstrom. That is ridiculous. I Like, he's having one hell of a season. Uh, really uh, rejuvenating his career with us, basically. And the best score of the league is going to be Tarasenko, 51 goals. All right. Best player with 101 points, uh, Evgeny Malkin, which is, he's now at uh, 1,300. Interesting. So really one of his best seasons of his career. He's at uh, 36 years of age, boys. Patrick Kane, Linda Scott, Crosby still getting it done at 35 years of age. Um, 93 points, boys. So yeah, he's still getting it done every time, every year. He's, he's doing fantastic, boys. Uh, Jack Hughes over there, Mac Mc McKinnon, Peterson, Rentonen, and Eichel. All right, all these players. Ovechkin, yeah, Ovechkin right there. 40, 40 goals now. Ovechkin's getting in there. One more season, and he can potentially the, beat the record of Gretzky. Gretzky's record for the goals. Uh, we'll see, though, if he stays that long. Uh, uh, Quentin Hughes, boys, the brother of Jack. He's... Um, Got 68 points, so the best defenseman of the league right there. That's good for him. And we've got over here, uh, goalie-wise, well, definitely. I think Markstrom is definitely going to be the one who is going to have the President's Trophy. He's He's got to be, right? I mean, he's got 50 wins, for Christ's sake. And uh, I guess for the best uh, rookie was Morgan Frost this year. So nothing too shabby. But uh, there it is, boys. So that was the stats for this year. Let's take a look at what we have to deal with uh, against the Buffalo Sabres, I guess. So, it looks like we're going to have to face against this. So, middle staff, Eichel and Thompson. Now, they got a weak right wing uh, right wing line. But center and left wing, these two are really good. So, maybe they gonna, they're going to elevate him. I don't know, boys. But Jack Eichel, obviously, in middle staff is going to be formidable. Uh, Enders Lee. Sam Reinhardt and Olsen, so not too shabby. It's all right, I guess. Cahoon, Cousins, and uh, Bjo uh, Bjorkstad, all right. And Jess Skinner on the fourth line with Eric Stahl and Perlini. So really good depth, but not big-time players. They've got one big player, and that's about it. 
Uh, Rasmus Dahlin, there we go on the def uh, defense room wise. Uh, Yorki Haju, yeah, they don't have really def any defense, and they've got Fleury in the net, which apparently is fantastic in the playoffs, so that might be a problem. Uh, we'll see, though. But uh, Fleury obviously is a legendary goalie, but he's only 83 overall, so I think we can beat these guys. We can definitely beat these guys. There's some room, uh, definitely some big room to do it. I don't, f uh, yes, they got some good team. They're out shooting us right now, though. They're dominating us, and we're taking penalties, too. Come on, now. Guys, yeah, start shooting. Start getting in there. There we go. Thompson, of all people, of course, the, the first line's going to produce for them. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're starting to get back in there, at least. We're getting the momentum back on our side, it looks like. But Thompson's going to get a second goal. What? Hold on, now. Thompson getting two goals in the first period. This guy's going crazy. He's going to make his team win. We're going to really lose in the first first round, really? First round loss. Come on, guys. You got to score goals. You can't get past Fleury at 83 overall. Are you kidding me, man? Oh, fuck me. All right. Well, definitely going to lose, boys. Forget about this. There's no way we're coming back. For Yeah, no, it's over. Yeah, 3 nothing. Uh, We're losing 3 nothing. In the, uh, After two periods, it's over. What the hell? Are we really going to get eliminated in the first round? Just like that, boys. But uh, that wasn't... Uh, that's not going to be a very long playoff. That's disappointing. We, oh, there we go. Nikolai Ehlers. Someone's showing up. Finally. Power play goal, though. Eric Stahl's going to fucking... He's going to fuck us off. Oh, come on, man. All right. Well, whatever, boys. It looks like we didn't make it past the first round. Oh my god, just power play goal. Yeah, add it to it. Yeah, hat trick for Thompson. Thompson apparently is a all star player, boys. Legendary player. Gets a hat trick in his first game against us. Oh boy, what the hell was that? So we really, we got wrecked. First round, boys, we get eliminated. Last time, last year, we literally got, went to the, to the, the finals. Well, I don't know what happened this year, but apparently we weren't ready for the playoffs. We got wrecked big time. What the fuck? Vancouver wins the cup. Oh my god, really? Vancouver's going to win the cup? All right, so who was it? Uh, let me see the, the awards. Let me see the awards really quick. Who was it that they faced in the finals right there? Was it? Oh, it was the Capitals even. So hold on. We are in the right place. So Buffalo beats us 6 to 1. So they uh, out uh, outshoot us. They literally they, they dominate us. Then they went on to lose against Washington which they get, went uh, in the Stanley Cup finals. Oh boy. Yeah, Vancouver was dominating the entire time. So All right then. Looks like Vancouver's the lucky team, boys. They get uh, they get the cup this year. That's pretty much that. We're going to view the retired players. So it looks like it's going to be all micromanaging mostly in this video, boys. Uh, once again. Uh, that's really bad, though. All right. So Corey Perry, Dustin Brown, uh, Zajac, Dubinsky, all these players uh, pl making their retirement, uh, retiring. Defenseman-wise, we do have Shea Weber decide to retire at 37 years of age. What a bad trade that was for Montreal Canadiens. It didn't even last until 38 or 39. <laughs> he decided to, re to retire right away, basically. Uh, Giordano. Well, Giordano decided to retire, boys, uh, as a member of the Winnipeg Jets. Good uh, good career for these two. Uh, Edler, all right. Sakara, which was part of our team, boys, decided to retire. So we lost uh, someone for the minors right there. That's pretty much it. Goalie-wise, did we lose anybody? We didn't lose anybody, so Fleury's still in there, along with uh, other players. And Mark Giordano is going to become a coach, boys. So Giordano is now a coach. Uh, do we have anybody? Ice Hogs for us, right? I think uh, that's us. So I think we uh, we lost a coach, probably. Or is it the Syracuse? I think it might be the Syracuse. I'm not. I'm not sure which one of our of these teams is ours, but uh, we'll see, I guess. Okay, so that's that. We're going to go into the draft pick. But uh, first off, I need to take a look to just make sure I've got every single... Yeah, all my coaches are good. No, so we didn't lose any coach. They're all good, boys. And they're all in the Bs now. So that's really good for us. I mean, uh, we got some really good coaching in here. That's fantastic, boys. Okay, 
Well, uh, in that case, I think we're ready to go into the draft lottery and hopefully we can get a really good draft this year compared to last year, uh, which we really didn't really, we didn't get anything last year. The first year we got uh, some good stuff, but last year not so much. So hopefully this time around we can get some uh, good draft picks. It looks like we're going to be drafting from all the way from 27th position. Wow, all right, so we definitely got screwed over that one. We went, uh, because we won the President's Trophy, uh, we definitely got screwed big time. All right, so let's see uh, if we can't move up any further, maybe by 10 positions at least. So from the Vegas Golden Knights be, uh, pick, maybe we can find, we have some prospects we can trade for, right? Like always. But at this point in time, I might as well just skip entirely. Yeah, I'm just going to skip, boys. So who's going to be the first overall? It's going to be a medium elite sniper right wing. Smith, uh, Keaton Smith for the, uh, I guess, uh, the uh, Red Wings. So they've got a good player in there. They've got some uh, uh, a good player for sure. Bates, there we go. Medium elite defenseman. Schulzer. Uh, medium elite 81 playmaker really good for the Rangers right there to play on on side of Lafreniere or at least actually he's the same side as Lafreniere so I don't know how they're gonna work with that we'll see though uh, Akposo and everything all right so we got a, a couple of players we're gonna go all the way up to 27th our, our pick itself Let's see what we can pick, boys. Uh, looks like we don't really have much of a choice right here in terms of draft picks. Probably Cal uh, Clarence Spiller could be a good option. Three years, but we don't ha we haven't uncovered him fully. Uh, we don't have anybody really uncovered fully right now. Really, all right. So that's not too good. We do have him. He's a gem, boys, but. All the way at 113 so we can save him for later he's a gem we can save him uh for sure so i don't know boys who do we want to go after here uh, i could go for either maya uh, mayorov or uh spiller one of these two i'm tempted to try my luck on right here this guy says four years though and spillers it says uh three years uh what about these two NHL ready. This guy is actually NHL ready. He's a top four. So he's ready to play in a NHL. Al McInnes. Actually, this guy might be the best option. Even though this guy says... You know, I might want to go for Ica, boys. Because he sa it says he's a NHL ready uh, player. Uh, I'm going to go for Ica. Because if he's ready, I might as well take him, right? He's a good, uh, good player. Let's, uh, let's take uh, Ica. So a first round pick from this year. Oh, definitely he's a good player. Uh, Two-way defenseman though. Oh no, it's a two-way defenseman. It's fine. Yeah, it's just fine. Actually, it's perfect for us. And 77 overall. So uh, one year to grow in the minors. And afterwards, next year he's going to be able to play for us. That's a really good draft pick, boys. Really good draft pick. Now, I'm interested to see if these other guys, these two other guys are actually going to be... Um, Mariayov, see, he wasn't even... He was a top 6D man, so... I did well to not choose him. That's a garbage player. I, I want to see for sure. Did we, Do we have anybody that we missed on right here? What about the last one? Did he pick it? Uh, oh, Ben. Lower lead, boys. 67 overall. So I could have went for him. Much better choice than the, than the one I have. But still, it's a, I got a good draft pick anyways. So I'm happy with what I got. Another elite though. Spiller was a two-way defenseman as well. An elite. Yeah, I should have picked him then. Oh, okay. Well, looks like he was the better choice, boys. That's fine, I guess. Uh, next up, what do we want to go af uh, after now? So we have, once again, we got a, a potential low elite right there. It says it's three years though. Not too sure. Uh, we could pick up this guy. Guaranteed to be a low top for three years. This guy's four years, so definitely not him. And this guy's three years as well, so medium top six. I don't know, boys. I, I'm not too sure what I want to go after. I'm still, I know about the gem, boys. Don't worry about it. I know the gem, I'm going to have him. Uh, don't worry. I, I still can get somebody closer, I guess. There's this guy, top six. Four years, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I might be tempted to go after this guy. Another defenseman, boys. 
Might be tempted to just go after these guys because there's not I don't see any elites. I don't see anything like that. So to another two-way defenseman, 62 overall. We're probably gonna miss on some uh, elites for sure. There we go, like this goalie right here. 61 or oh, medium elite, boy. 61 overall medium elite. I'm missing out on these goaltenders though. I gotta watch out maybe for these uh goaltenders. There's usually good ones. So we'll see though. All right, so uh, just to make sure, I don't know if I'm going to have uh, the goalie. Maybe I could try and get, actually, after Martindale. But, uh, well, he hasn't really played. I don't know, boys. Goalies, usually, it's either it's a bust or it's a good one. I don't want to take chances on goalies and stuff. It would be really stupid to take chances on that, I feel like. Oh, uh, yeah. I, well, I don't know which one I should go for right here. I want to try my luck on uh, some e elites, boys. I want to try my luck, but feels like a risk, really. And I want to go for the gem for sure. I want to try out the gem. But then again, there's this guy right here. 18 years of age. I believe he's going to be a low elite for sure because we are almost have him on cover almost uh, completely. Let's go for another defenseman. Another defenseman. Just defenseman this year, boys. Uh, another low top four. All right, so we get some low top fours. It's some good dr draft picks overall, but it's not elite. We haven't uh, like we didn't get the low elite we were searching for right here, where you or like any elites whatsoever. We didn't get it so far, so that's pretty bad. Oh, I might have missed on the uh, the gem right there, the gem player. I I should have picked them, boys. Damn, that's rough. Should have picked that uh, that player. Oh well. That's fine, I guess. Uh, the, is he still in there? No, he's definitely... He got picked for sure. Yeah, he definitely got picked. All right, that's fine, I guess. So we don't really have anything else going on. So we just got to go on the fly right here to what we might... Like what we think we might have. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, do we have some pin, pin players? No, we don't. I don't think we have some pin players, boys. So we got to uh, figure it out on our own. Then you need to try this one out. Uh, he's uh, Tikhanov, 18 years of age. Um, not too shabby. We could try to go for the goalie. Actually, you know what? Well, no, he's 20 years of age. I can't go for a goalie that's 20 years of age. Uh, so, yeah, we could try and go for this guy right here. He went up a lot. So, previous scouting rank. He went up by a lot, boys. So, he might be a really good one. All right, we're going to try him out. He's a sniper, uh, supposedly. Uh, 18 years of age. Let's see if Tikhanov is anything interesting. Uh, low top 9. So not really. We didn't miss out on anybody so far it looks like. Uh, a bunch of low top 9s for everybody. So I think we picked up the right guy overall. But uh, we could have had something better probably. Not, uh, I'm not entirely sure though. Uh, let's see really quick. So... We got, I'm uh, certainly looking at the guys that, uh, like this guy right here. I'm looking at the rankings, mostly. Uh, the ones that are dropping, I definitely don't, don't want to go for it. The ones that are dropping, I definitely do not want to go for them. They dropped in rank, right? So, don't want to go for them. I want to go for the ones that are moving up. So, this guy, per se, he moved up. Uh, medium elite, uh, apparently. So, five years, we could try our luck on this guy. Left winger. Uh, Miscelli, let's see, bottom, medium, bottom six. That, so that's bad. That's pretty bad. We don't, we're not missing on anything, uh, missing out on anything, but we're not getting anything in uh, either. You know, we got to try and get something right now. We got to try and maybe pull off something. It's the last round. I'll try this guy, I guess, Kulikov from Russia. Uh, cool name, so you'll never know with him. Another bottom six. So really, we didn't miss out on anything. Uh, we didn't get anything, but it's fine, I guess. I uh, got a bunch of top fours and not really a memorable tray, uh, uh, not really a memorable draft, right? Not memorable at all. We didn't get anything interesting. Uh, mostly, I get my players. It looks like my goalie coach is due to get re-signed. I mostly get my players from uh usually the free agency anyways so draft picks themselves are mostly used to move up uh if i don't get any elites and stuff like that uh let's see terry whitney 
Uh, he wants that amount of money. I think I can give. Yeah, I can. I I have enough to give him that. I have enough to give him just exactly that. He wants to be an associate coach though, so I'm gonna give him more even. I'm gonna actually give him exactly what uh, he wants, but even more. And uh, you are coming back as a goalie coach, my guy. Absolutely. All my scouts are almost ready to get out of this place almost. Uh, I'm definitely re-signing you. So I'm gonna re-sign everybody. Hold on, boys. All right, so all the scouts are gonna be re-signed or at least I asked them to re-sign. We should be good. Let's go to contracts and start doing our thing, boys. It's time to focus on the contracts, see who we're going to get for the next year. So we're going to obviously get these guys. Uh, Jack Hughes continuing to grow. 89 overall now, the same amount as Ishir. Is Ishir ever going to grow? Uh, I believe he even dropped. He was in the 90s, right? So he dropped. Uh, yeah, Ishir is kind of disappointing right now. I got to get rid of him. I got to trade him for a player that actually is going to perform for me or is going to be good for me could probably trade him for a veteran like Crosby to be honest I could boys Crosby or Malkin because they're producing every year and I need players like these uh so Ishia Jack Hughes all right so we got three players that's four players right here it, Dickinson did not want to return bye then I don't need you we still have Getzlav he might drop, so he might become a depth def uh, forward for us eventually. I'm pretty sure he's going to drop, boys. Uh, one, two, three. And uh, yeah, I think we're good uh, uh, over there. So we can definitely sign this guy, McLeod. We're going to sign you, buddy. Sign you off. Your medium sa uh, 78 overall. You might be ready for the league, actually. Uh, I think he might be ready for the league, boys. You, uh, I don't know yet. So we're not going to make any moves for center wise because we don't know for sure if he's really going to be ready or not, but he might be uh, left wing position. We only have, okay, no, I was about to say, so uh, Ehlers is starting to drop already. Okay. So he dropped by 86 overall. That's probably because of his bad season with the Win Winnipeg Jets by itself because he had a good season with us. Uh, so uh, I guess 86. There's an 85 Hoffman right there, and we got uh, three and four. So we already have our four players right there because Jesper Brat is still growing. And yeah, I was playing someone else. Yeah, Jesper Brat, I was playing him on the right wing. But this year, uh, we could go for a right winger, actually. So we don't need somebody like Drouin. We went after him, right? We uh, traded for him. But I believe we got a first round pick or something in exchange for him. What did he do for us? He wasn't doing anything too too good. Uh, we're gonna get rid of him. I mean, I did trade for him, but he didn't help us out during the pl the one game of the playoffs that we needed to uh, win. He didn't help us out at all. So we're gonna get rid of him. We're gonna get uh, a right winger instead, and finally play Jesper right in the position he is supposed to play. You know, so that's four players. Uh, we got three players right here. Uh, it looks like it. So it looks like foot. You're gonna be re-signed for sure. Uh, I'm going to resign you for the maximum amount of years and maximum amount of money, buddy. Uh, buddy. There we go. So that's four players right there, just like that. Oh, I think Tufte actually might be ready for the league when you think about it. So Tufte might be ready for to play in the league, boys. I, I think he's going to be ready. I'm going to let go of Allison and we're going to sign Alpern. So Alpern, you're, be, you're going to be signing. Who, who was this guy again? Drafted in the 30th overall for us. So he was drafted uh, last year, I believe. Okay, so defensemen. Let's see real quick. So one, two, three, four. Four defensemen. And uh, we do have Smith, which he's ready to play in the league. Finally, he's ready, boys. Well, no, he played for us last year. What am I talking about? He already played for us. So we got a couple of them. I guess Ty Smith, I can keep him. Uh, I could definitely keep him. He's a top four, so why not? We're going to try and keep him, boys. Uh, one way deal. Okay, so uh, in that case, we're definitely going to keep you for the seven uh, young deal. We're going to keep you for 3.875. There we go. At seven year uh, deal. So, yeah, for the sixth defenseman, we're just going to get rid of all these guys. Uh, one of them is going to, I'm going to keep him. So definitely not Murphy. I'm not keeping Murphy. 
Looks like uh, Anka is going to be the one that's going to be my depth defenseman this year, boys. Um, definitely keeping for three years. Yeah, keeping you for three years, buddy. I'm going to give you exactly what you want, I guess. And uh, for the next part, uh, minor wise, we got uh, one uh, defenseman, two defensemen, and that's about it. Only two defensemen signed so far. So that's three defensemen right here. There's a fourth defenseman. We're going to sign him for sure. That's our first round pick from this year. We're definitely going to sign him. So that's uh, one, two, three, four right there. Uh, do we want Bal? For sure we want him. And we want him for another three years for sure and a maximum amount of money. So that's uh, five, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And now we just need one more defenseman in the minors. We're going to get rid of this guy and get rid of this guy. And we're going to sign this one, which is a low top four. So that's good for us. Three years for you as well, buddy. Go right ahead. All right. So get all of that for us. And that should be good. We're good defensively. And goalie wise, we still have Markstrom, which is a complete beast for us. Definitely a beast. A long fist uh, still in there for us. How many years does he have? Oh, yeah, we signed him uh, long term. So he, he uh, basically retires for us. Yep, big, big time. Uh, Sean, all right, we got him. So we still have these two goaltenders. We're not going to need Tarasov. He's garbage anyways. All right, let, let me take a quick look really quick at what we might need properly this time around. All right, I think we're good. Uh, I think the most, for the most part, it's just continu contingency players that I got. I'm not interested in joining with this job title. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm giving you how many money? How much money do I give? Am I giving you right now? This coach is gonna be a pain, boys. I need you as a uh, as a goalie coach, so you're gonna have to accept eventually. I've got all these players resigned for me. Let's go back to coaching staff, I guess. I really got to re-sign him big time deal, I guess. Like, what the, how much does he want? I need him as a goalie coach. That's the bottom line, buddy. You're not going to be associate coach. That's not going to happen. I, I got to give you the maximum. All right, I got to give you the maximum. Unless, unless uh, you're willing to accept that deal right here. There we go. Okay, three years, buddy. Like, look, you, you get to play for a great team right here, all right? You know we're not going to make it far to the playoffs. We're not making it far, but still, we're a great team nonetheless during the regular season. So just, you know, do your thing, buddy. Come on now. Accept. So we got all these scouts accepting their, uh, their, uh, their renewals and stuff. Yo, he's a piece of shit. What the fuck? This coach is really a piece of shit. He's one hell of a piece of work, huh? He really doesn't want to come back. I'm going to give him back, boys. So eventually he's going to have to accept. He's going to have to accept eventually. 7.81. We can uh, we can literally uh, get rid of the budget. Doesn't matter uh, in this. As uh, as long as you don't... Uh, the, the, the season doesn't start. The budget doesn't uh, matter, boys. So let's go, buddy. Accept for us, please. Oh my god. This guy, we're really going to lose him. Are we really going to lose this guy? Is he serious right now? Do we, how much money does he want? He really wants to get paid more to, as much as the, uh, the coach, man? Fuck is... Uh, the, what, is what is this? This is a joke, boys. It's a regular joke. All right, you know what? We're, we're going to have to go at nine. We're going to have to know at uh, almost... Almost a million for him, boys. Almost a fucking million just for this coach because he doesn't want to be a goalie coach this guy is ridiculous completely stupid yeah all right he's stupid whatever man we lost him hey that's fine by me he didn't want to come back he's a dumbass he's a fucking dumbass he doesn't want to come back i'm not going to force him to come back all right so so far so good uh, free agency what do uh, what we need the most right now as we're going to go into ufas uh, we need a left winger, contingency players for sure. Left winger in right wing position, boys. Because it's just in case we got a bunch of prospects that could be ready to play in the NHL next year. So I got I, I need backup players just in case that happens. Once, if they're not ready, then we, all, we still have those backup players. You never know, right? So I got left wing position. I need a backup player for the left wing position, boys. Now, what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna search for someone that's really, really bad. Like uh, someone that's um, gonna be like an AHL or something. There we go, in the AHL. So it doesn't bother anyone. So I'm gonna just take whatever, whoever. I'm just gonna take uh, this guy right here. Can you still grow though? No, I don't want somebody who can grow. I just want this guy right here. Just this one random dude, boys. We're gonna give him, I guess, a three-year deal, right? At uh, eight, or actually just a one-year deal. One-year deal for him, for sure. Uh, one-year deal at that amount of money, for sure. There we go. Right wing position, same thing. We need two of those. Two of those types of players. But I am also gonna try and pick um, maybe a depth, depth forward or something. See, here's the thing. I don't know if Getzlaff's going to be a depth four for us or not. It's kind of confusing this year, boys, because I don't know what to expect out of my prospects. So I could go for Radulov, you know, and really help out our team, which I think I'm going to go for uh, when you think about it. But he's a, actually, he's a top nine. Yeah, he's a top nine, so he might uh, drop off big time drastically, boys. So I might want to go for one of these two instead. Yeah, Vertanen or Meyer. Uh, let me see real quick. Who's got the most goals? Who scores the most goals? I believe uh, Vertanen is a better player. I'm going to go for Vertanen, boys. And we're going to go for this guy. We're going to take some chances here. All right, so let's go for Vertanen. Nobody wants him anyways. So let's just give him 5.925. Uh, there we go. And now we're going to go for the two right wingers that um, are contingency players. Just like uh, the other one on the left wing position. We have some players right here. Uh, I need a grinder. Well, grinders is garbage. No, I need someone that's actually good at least. So, yeah, there we go. Just this guy right here. One year deals. Bunch of one year deals for these two guys. All right. And just in case this guy got a two year deal, but that's fine, I guess. And defenseman, we do need one defenseman that we can add. So, Daniel Nurse. Or Gostich Beer could be great. Both of these guys. So all these guys right here could be a good option. Gardener even. But um, I think I might want to go for the offensive defenseman for sure. So we're, we're going to go for Gostich Beer, boys. We need the offensive defenseman. A five-year deal. Now, he's a top four. He's not an elite. But uh, it's the closest we got. So yeah, I guess we can give him the five-year deal, boys. Guess we can give him that. So we're going to give him that at uh, 9.07. Because obviously everybody wants to go after him. So we're going to have to give him big time contract. We're going to see really quick if there's any goalies. Well, there is Thatcher Demko. But we already have our two goaltenders, right? So we don't need to go after a goaltender. We don't need to, boys. Look who it is, boys. Giordano hasn't signed with anybody as a coach. We could have him as our goalie coach, just like we did with Buffalo Gun for the AHL coach, right? Let's have you as a goalie coach, my guy. Actually, you're going to ask a lot of money, right? He wants to be an associate coach as well. That's my pure problem. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to have him. We're going to try, but I don't think he's going to accept, boys. We're going to give him the four-year deal he wants. And we're going to give him, I guess, how much does he want? He wants, uh, he wants that amount of money, so we're just going to give him a double that, well, uh, uh, 200 more. So we're going to give him, I guess, right there, just like that. Well, let's hope that it works. I don't think it's going to work, though, because once you're in the free agency, it starts to count the, uh, the, the that aspect of things. So uh, I don't think it's going to work. Well, let's hope, though. All right, so let's see who signs. I don't really like the size man you play it, but I'm willing to live. So I accept. He does accept. So it did work. All right, good. So our new goalie coach is Mark Giordano, boys. Interesting. Very interesting. But there he is. Uh, extremely happy. So we got Greco. We got uh, these three guys that are uh, just there in case something happens. And we got uh, Gastishbeer and Vertan. And so we got everybody we wanted, boys. Everybody we wanted, we got it. And uh, let's see if there's anybody that got signed otherwise. And uh, Timo Meyer went to Boston. Uh, Radulov went to uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins. All right. Donald Nurse to uh, Buffalo. Makes sense. 
Galchenyuk, okay. Thatcher Demko, boys, going to the Islanders. They got themselves a goalie there. Uh, Duncan Keith, Keith Yandel. Yeah, all right, James Neal. All right, so guys, some players here and there that uh, are signing, I guess. So I think we're ready. We got everything we needed. We can go ahead and uh, simulate the rest of the thing the, uh, until the season itself, boys. Uh, I'll see you there. Let's uh, see if we got... We're going to need to make some trades and whatnot. All right, we're in the, the right before the preseason. Let's take a look at our roster moves. See who we got uh, ready to play in the NHL this year. Who's going to play? I was expecting that from Getzlaff. So I was kind of expecting him to drop because I saw depth forward and I saw uh, top nine. So now he's a bottom six. So he's an AHL player, basically. And I was expecting McLeod to be ready for the NHL. Which is perfect, means uh, it fits perfectly because it means they replace each other basically. They go back and forth and McLeod is the one playing in the NHL now. He's ready boys to play for us. He was a first round pick for the our New Jersey Devils back in 2016. So another first round pick right there. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we got our four players right here. Tufte wasn't ready to play in the NHL after all. So I was expecting him to be... Ready out of all these players, 79 overall. Uh, it's probably because he's a high top nine, so he's not going to grow fast. I don't know why, but he's not ready, boys. So uh, interesting. Let's take a look at right wing positions. One, two, three, and four. Uh, Dadanov is starting to drop big time. Uh, that's fine by me. And uh, I guess Zetterlund and Anderson weren't ready. So they uh, were not ready. Uh, I guess top six, right? Is that? Hold on. Top six forward. So all the other ones are top nine forward. So maybe if they're 78 overall, I do not, I can't expect them to grow that much if they're in the top nines. Interesting. All right. So that's very interesting. So I, I'll keep that in mind. So we are definitely going to need a forward then because we don't have um, a depth forward. So who's going to be our depth forward this year is uh, probably definitely... Uh, gonna be a uh, get slav boys our depth forward for sure defenseman now defenseman we got one two three four five six with anka being our depth defenseman for sure there we go so everything's playing out like i i thought it would goalie wise markstrom and longvis as always and shen's not really growing that much no he's not growing anymore so we're not we we're gonna need to find a goalie for sure though for the future. Eventually we're gonna have to draft somebody or find somebody. That's for sure. So uh, that's pretty much that. I feel like everybody's in there. Let's do best lines for now. And uh, yeah, I guess what the next thing I'm gonna do is edit the lineups really quick. See what we are gonna be working with. So give me a few seconds, boys. All right, this year, at least for the beginning of it, it's going to look like that. Uh, we got Nikolai Ehlers playing with uh, Jack Hughes and Puri Yarvi being put on the first line, boys. Now, we got uh, one thing that is for sure, because Puri Yarvi is in the lower lead, that's why I'm playing on the first line. I want him to grow as much as possible. Um, we're going to have a much weaker uh, team than last year for sure. Our team is starting to... We've got a bunch of veterans, obviously. They're all dropping. Um, I was really expecting to have a good see, playoff run last year, but I don't know. This year is going to be rough because we definitely have a much weaker team. So I don't know what to expect. Uh, Jesper Bratt playing for the first time finally in the left wing position instead of playing the right wing. Uh, with Ischiar and Bryogstrand. Now, hopefully it can work. Uh, hopefully these three can work together if I see right away that after 10 games or something like Ishiar is not doing good uh, or production wise or something I gotta I gotta trade him for something you know I gotta trade him because he hasn't produced for me he really didn't have an, uh, really enough of a good career for me he's uh, basically wasting time for Barkov Barkov who could be producing much more than him anyways so I feel like um, I kind of need to make some th things happen. Something happen here. I need some players. Hoffman, obviously. Now this year is going to be a step back into the third line because Ehlers is an elite. And Jesper Bratt is a top six. He, he still can grow. So Hoffman, uh, he dropped to a top six. So he's got to play on the third line. He's probably not going to get the 40 goals this year, boys. 
But he's playing with Barkov and Vertanen, our new addition. We got Schwartz, McLeod, and Dalinov. Now, these guys apparently, they're not going to be uh, playing too good together. They're, we got both uh, two two-ways uh, playing. Oh, actually, we got two snipers with a two-way. Uh, two ways are really bad in this game, uh, for uh, for me at least. But uh, we'll have to make it work right now. And I've got Ty Smith, of course, playing on the first line, first duo with Ristolainen. And uh, we got Gustafsson with Hamilton, Gastishbeer with Ekholm, boys. And we're going to be having Markstrom and Longvist, all right? So all this is good. I guess that's what it's going to look like. The HL's um, team is done as well, so... You can expect some good things out of them as well. And now I am going to take a look at the scouts, equip them really quick. And once that is done, we are going to be ready to uh, hop into the uh, for season, boys. Now, before we start the season, I do want to take a look, boys. You never know, right? Uh, we, I want to take a look. Maybe we got something that um, maybe we can make a trade. You never know to Pittsburgh. You never know. Crosby, Malkin, one of these two. So they're dropping two, it looks like. Uh, if we take a look uh, in terms of value, right? They're dropping. Actually, Crosby's 86 overall now. Uh, for an 86, I got to tell you, he does produce quite a lot. So that's good value. For a guy that produces that amount of points, boys, I'm willing to get Crosby. I'm willing to get Crosby or Malkin, you know. But Malkin's probably going to retire soon. How many years has he got? One more year under his contract. And uh, Amalkin, though, he, how many points did he put up yet last year? He, he was the best player of the league. He's a playmaker and both. Uh, so is Malkin. They've got some players in there. They've got Zibanejad playing probably in the first line now. Uh, I think Crosby could be a really good asset for us, boys. Get a veteran player like him in our team. How uh, many years does he have? He, he's got two years left, though. So I'm thinking maybe we can try our luck instead with Malkin. Instead of uh, Crosby, get Malkin in here because uh, he's got more points. He put up more points than Crosby anyways. And uh, maybe he could be valuable to us. And uh, we could get him instead. Now, yes, I know it would be a bad trade probably to get him in, uh, instead of uh, for e a guy like Ishiar or something like that. It would be a big time bad trade uh I'm, i don't like two way forwards in general i'm willing to give a chance to barkov but ishia hasn't proven me anything boys he's still got a four year uh four year under his contract and we can get some really good stuff out of him uh really good years uh like we could we could get some really good stuff so i'm thinking maybe did they have a big time prospect well they have why but i guess what I'm really looking for here is to have something like not, not a second round pick. I want your first round pick. All right. If I'm giving you that, definitely need to give me that. And not even that would be enough. So it would be a second round pick or something. Okay. I mean, a second round pick. Uh, second and a third, please. Uh, at least second and a third. There we go. Second and a third and uh, Malkin for Ishiar. That's the type of trade I would be willing to do. Because, yes, Malkin is old. He's probably going to get last. But uh, I don't know. I'm going to wait it out. I don't think it's, it would be a good trade right now. But if Isha turns out to be nothing, uh, I, I don't want to waste my time with him either, you know. Uh, there's also the possibility of getting... I want to see uh, Ovechkin. Where is he at in his career right now? Is he still in here? Yeah, he's still obviously still playing. And he's still an 88 overall. I mean, he could be a really good asset. That's another one that could be a really good asset. Uh, Ovechkin. I mean, 88 overall. Uh, who do we got on the left wing, though? Who do we have? I'm just going to get rid of Isha really quick. So left wing. Uh, we got... We don't really have anybody, right? We got a bunch of people... Yeah, players that don't have that much value right now. As of right now. So Schwartz. Uh, Brat. They're not really, you know, Brat actually has a lot of value compared to Ovechkin. Uh, kind of a, si a similar type of value right there. Mike Hoffman actually has the same type of value than, has even more value than Ovechkin. We could get, wow. Actually, boys, that could be a move up. 
We could put a move up from Hoffman to to Ovechkin. We could do it. Yeah, because Hoffman is a big time scorer for us. We could move up, and Ovechkin's got only one year left. Uh, what we could do is get Ovechkin. Yeah, move up like that. We get Ovechkin, and I guess get a like a second round pick or something. Yeah, get a, like a second round pick and a third. Uh, third round pick so second and a third with Ovechkin for Hoffman Let's actually do that. Let's do it. They both cost about the same pretty much So yeah, I'm tempted to do that big big time boys Ovechkin uh, How many points does he pull up during a season, right? How many points uh, or how many goals did he score 40 goals? He's basically the the same score. He's he's possibly got the like a better potential than Hoffman in terms of scoring. He's got a much better potential. As Hoffman is a sniper as well, but he's got a better potential, boys. I think while Hoffman has that good uh, trade value, you might as well trade him for a player like Ovechkin. You might as well do it. Uh, let's do it, boys. Let's do that trade. Let's do that trade big time. There we go. Accept it. We got a second and a third, and we got Ovechkin for Hoffman. Good luck with Hoffman, guys. I got Ovechkin now. He's going to be playing on the first line. Uh, unless he's a top six. No, he's a top six. So he's not playing on the first line. He's going to be playing on the third line. Actually, he's the one playing on the third line. 88 overall on the third line. I'm fine with that, boys. All right, so changes have been made. So Ovechkin, instead of Hoffman, it's literally Ovechkin. So it's just a, a bonus of four overalls. It's a four overall better player. The, in the third line than Hoffman was. That's all it is. It's a bonus. It's an upgrade for me. So I'm willing to do that, boys. I could move him up to the four first line, right, and play him. But because Ehlers is a high elite, uh, exact elite, I have high confidence in him to start producing very well this year, right? I have confidence. Plus, the sniper needs a playmaker on his side. And uh, Jesper Brat, uh, use, they got to stay there, actually. Uh, these are not, yeah, they're not uh, formed together pretty well. There we go. Finally, that's the uh, that's how you're supposed to make it. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Mostly, mostly happy with uh, with that, boys. So um, for now, we're gonna keep it like that. I don't know if there's any more trades we could do. Maybe like get rid of one of our two-way forward centers, but uh, we're gonna keep it like that for now. And also. I just want to make sure, so captain in jerseys, let's just make sure that everything's fine right there. So Jack Hughes is our captain, Ishiar is our assist. We can't have two alternates, at, you know, we can't have that. So what are we going to do, Ishiar, you're not going to be an assist. Uh, Ovechkin, you're going to be our, there we go, our assist right now. And uh, defense-wise, it's going to be... Uh, Ty Smith is going to be our defenseman, right, boys? Our assist defenseman, so assistant. So there we go. Uh, our alternate, I guess. So let's uh, go ahead and start simulating. Finally, right? No more wasting time here. I got the big trade, which is ba basically Ovechkin. That's a really big time trade, after, obviously. Having Ovechkin on our team. Let's see if how it's going to work out for us in the regular season. Uh, so far in the preseason, we're doing pretty good uh, for the most part. As I say that, we lose two games in a row. But so far, so good, I'm pretty sure. And uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what Ovechkin can do for us in the third line. And uh, yeah, I'm, running, I'm really interested, boys. Really interested. Now, obviously, Ovechkin playing on the third line, it's not going to be uh, the same one as playing on the first line. It's not going to be the same potential. But uh, as I'm really excited to see what my team can do this year even though um, we look pretty weak on paper compared to last year I think we can still make some good stuff happen boys so a lot of good stuff can happen I'm pretty sure all right so you guys already know the drill we're ready to start the season at least the 10 first games or the 20 first games so what we're gonna do is every five games we're gonna uh, of simulation so two four and five right here all the way up to the Carol, uh, Calgary Flames game we're going to stop there and take a look at the scouts if I need to equip anybody and all, you know, so that's usually what I uh, end up doing. Uh, right now, looks like we're starting very well with three wins in a row uh, and a shootout win as well. So 
so far so good um i'm pretty excited to uh to see how it's uh, gonna land up are we gonna stay undefeated for now after five games we sure are so we f are five and oh after five games boys fantastic and the capitals it's a win-win for us so far for the trade of avechkin and Hoffman. It's a win-win because it looks like uh, Hoffman's new team, the Capitals, are still doing really good this year. Uh, they're doing fantastic. And we're undefeated in our, our, in our side. Nico Ischier is actually playing very good this year, finally. He's having a, a good season. I'm going to take a look, a good, strong look at his season, boys. Because if he doesn't have a good season, if he has the same amount of points as the other seasons... Uh, during uh, towards the trade deadline, you can bet your ass I'm gonna try and trade him for someone else, boys, for sure, for better asset than him. So uh, scout wise, let's just make sure that uh, I don't have to equip anybody whatsoever. Nope, we're good, so we can skip the uh, other ten five games and make it to ten. So we can uh, after ten games, we're gonna look at the stats, team stats, and everything. Uh, let's go. So. Uh, that's two, that's going to be four, that's going to be five. So all the way up to the uh, San Jose Sharks game. Now let's see how far we can make it into uh, before losing our first game. There's, uh, there's a win for us. There's another win, boys, against San Jose Sharks. Uh, against the Le Los Angeles Kings. Can we win that game? We sure can. Seven to nothing. So far we're dominating. Still undefeated. Eight nothing. Uh, can we win against Toronto? And uh, we lose. So that was our first loss against the Toronto Maple Leaf. Are we going to win, uh, bounce back up? Yes, we bounce back up against uh, the Blues. So after 10 games, boys, we, we started off the season with eight wins in a row. And then we lost against uh, Toronto. But uh, overall, 10 first games, 9 and 1. That's how you want, that's how, well, I like to see. I, I like to see that. Uh, man, I'm I'm really happy about the fact that my team is producing, and we're gonna take a look at our team stats. But I don't think we need to change. I, I don't think I want to change anything, because we had that eight uh, wins, uh, those eight wins in a row, boys. Uh, yeah, we have the best offensive team. We've got the second best defensive team. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, we got the best p power play. We got the best power play, boys, in the league. And the uh, one of the we actually have the worst penalty kill. Holy shit! Actually, Hurricanes have a penalty kill of a hundred percent, boys. How is that possible? And we got only a penalty kill of fifty-seven percent. That's a big yikes. But I don't want to. Well, we could probably change the penalty kill. I guess we gotta change it. We gotta change something because the penalty kill something's bound to not work. Obviously. But uh, if we're winning that many games, I don't know. Penalty kill might be a 57%, but I don't really care if uh, if our team is producing like that. After 10 games, I want to take a look at our team, our players per se. All right, so we're going to take a look really quick. So really good. Uh, the first line, well, actually, they're not doing too good together. They're not team play wise. They're not doing too good, but uh, like they're producing. They are producing. That's all that matters to me. Uh, yes, per Brat. Yeah, that second line is doing very well together. I like to see that. Definitely like to see that. What about Ovechkin, boys? He's a playmaker this year. He's uh, 8 points in 10 games played, so he's still producing like crazy. Uh, Barkov, right, doing well. And Vertan, and they're doing well together. And these guys, they're actually doing well. Okay, so everybody's doing well. It's the first line that's struggling. The, the one line I don't want to struggle in terms of team play is the one that struggles. That's fine, I guess. Uh, so penalty kill. Let's take a look. We're going to edit the strategies and uh, see if we can change the penalty kill. Diamond doesn't look like it's working out for us right now. Great for covering umbrella power play. Well, uh, tight box. We're actually going to go large box. Penalty killers attack the uh, puck heroes. Uh, let's go large box. L large box and let's see if that's working out for us. Or that's going to work out for us, boys. So... Let's go into another... Oh, actually, did I look at the scouts? Okay, the scouts were good, boys. We're, go, we're good for the scouts. So let's go for another 10 games, all right? We're going to simulate the another 10 games. And after all, after that, we're going to call it quits for today. Uh, so let's see. We're at two. 
four and five so all the way up to the dallas game uh, dallas stars game we're going to take a look at the scouts afterwards so we're going to continue our another winning streak we can't so so far we uh, lost against san jose uh but we won uh bounce back up with a win against columbus in uh, overtime so that's good to see a uh, win against uh, rangers so we're still winning games looks like gosh beer got injured he's in uh, playing at the third duo so i can just assistant uh coach replace him really quick and uh yeah okay so far so good it's not too shabby we got we won nine to one and then we lost proceed to win uh to lose nine to one that's that's kind of funny that's really funny actually uh scout do we need to uh change anything scout scout scouts we don't have anything ice i don't want to focus on that there's only two players i need to scout there so uh edit lines let me see who they put in there who was our it's Anka, right yeah Anka is a good defenseman he's he's reliable so we can uh keep it in there and Ishia is really having a good season as you can see so i'm happy about Ishia's season so far really happy uh challenge challenging him uh towards the dre deadline and he's actually producing for me so two four and five so all the way up to the washington capitals game where we're gonna stop it for today so the Dallas Stars, can we win another game? Yes, we can. So one to nothing. It's not a lot, but it's the win nonetheless. We got a shootout loss against um, the the I guess the Predators. We're gonna have to get back uh, Gostich Beer in there, right? He was a, a free agency acquisition, but I'm playing on on the third duo be, uh, because um, of the chemistry. I want the defense defense to have good chemistry at least. And they're all top four defensemen anyways of potential. So it's fine wherever I play them. It's fine. So let's go, man. Can we win? There we go. We win against the uh, Toronto Maple Leaf. If we can get some couple of wins here. Uh, we're starting to lose a little bit more right here. Against Minnesota, we lost in regulation. But there's a win against, I guess, the, the Senators. So as you can see right here, it's a bit of a tweener zone. So we got three wins in a row. So basically after that, it's win-loss, win-loss, win-loss again, and another win. So we can't get anything going. We can't get a winning streak. or We don't have any losing streak or winning streak. It's just you win, you lose, you win, lose. It's it's like really tweener right now. But are we the best team right now? We're the second best team uh, still we're still fighting it off with the Vancouver Canucks. Now remember the Canucks, right? Were the second best team last year. Uh, second best team. They were actually tied up with us for the points. Uh, we didn't win, but at least the the second best team of the league won the uh, won the cup last year. So that made sense at least. It's just I would have hoped that it would have been the best team, you know, which is us. But uh, I guess it's fine. Uh, so we, now we can take a look um, after 10, uh, last 10 games. It's not 9-1, but it's still 6-3-1. and one. So uh, maybe it's the changes that I did to my penalty kill hurt us a little bit. I hope it's not the case. Uh, still the best scoring team. Still, well, we, uh, we're starting to give a little bit many uh, more goals. So 2.6, but we're going up in that, but that's fine. So we're doing fun in power play. Penalty kill. We're actually going up. Yeah, no, penalty kill's going up. Good, good, good. So yeah, definitely I, I equipped the right one. Large box is the one to go, boys. I think uh, penalty kill, we're doing very, really great. So right now, look, first line. Where's the first line? Jack Hughes, 21 points in 20 games played. So he's still doing fantastic for us. Playing with, um, obviously he's playing with... Um, uh, who is his partner? Nikolai Healers. Now, Healers is struggling a little bit. Minus 7 for Healers. Uh, Jack Hughes minus 6. So, it's the one line that is going to give up the most goals, I guess. It seems like it's them. Are giving up a lot of goals. That's fine, though. It's kind of weird that the first line is the one giving up the goals. But that's fine, I guess. Pull the RV on the first line. He's doing alright, I guess. The second line... Which is Ishia is our best player by far right now this year. With 27 points. Finally he's playing good. He's playing with Bjorkstrand. Good season for him as well. And he's playing with Jesper Brad. Good season. Ovechkin is in there. 17 points boys. 7 goals. You like to see it. He's producing on the third line. Keeps producing boys. He, that's why you want him in your team. He's a reliable, reliable producer. I like that. 
So I'm gonna leave it right here, boys. Uh, this was a great first simulation, great first training game. So really excited to see how it's gonna go. Are we, can we get, can we uh, continue to go to do really good? And can we beat the Vancouver Canucks once again and get like for the third time in a row the President's Trophy? That would be great. Hopefully we can do that. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.